Okay, uh, today is day 139.2. Uh, two, two items, two items. Uh, the first one uh, is regarding this Florida situation. Now, um, I wouldn't keep at this Florida thing with this, this guy who ends up getting shot uh, just on the other end of Pennsylvania Avenue, this Cameron Ross Burgess. So, uh, just it seems like nothing in the case is conforming to regular standard operating procedure by police. I talked to task force, I said, when this sort of thing happens, do they lock down the residence of the shooter? And she said? Absolutely. Absolutely, she said. A White House shooter. And a White House shooting, the Secret Service would be all over this and the feds would be all over this. So local crime, it's not a option, correct? Not an option. It, no. It's mandatory. You must. Now, in this case, I sent out a, a, an article saying, hey, in four days, nobody went over to this guy's house. He's got the evidence laying on his bed. You got nine of the bullets. Yeah, nine of the bullets. So do the bullets match? The bullets Are there co-conspirators? Could this be a part of a larger plot? You know, all these questions, you would want to at least have the phone, the computer. Nothing was taken. No, no evidence was taken. Two days later now, I still confirmed that yesterday with his roommate. So again, when things like that happen, that screams metadata, more focus, more focus, zoom in, zoom in. So I'm not trying to uh, make a story out of this. They're making the story out of this by not uh, following normal patterns. Now, the other thing is this battle that's going on, not in this state house, but in the state house in Florida, between the part of the the service that he represented, which was this Cameron Ross Burgess, was in this protective service, child protective service. Well, there's a, a, another service called child advocacy service or child advocacy center. Let's let's just to simplify, say advocacy versus privacy, and the state represent protection. or protection advocacy per, versus protection A and P. Let's just think about the father of uh, Mike Rogers, right? A and P. His dad worked at A and P as a labor relations guy, right? So we got A and P, we've got advocacy and we've got protection. Now, normally they were in the same building. And this is where I was saying before, when you're doing a forensic analysis and I'm sitting right with an expert who's done forensic analysis in exactly these situations. There's a law enforcement piece and there's a medical piece. And typically those people work together, true? True, True. absolutely true. Hundreds of cases they have, to work together. have to work together. No question about it. Now, this is an odd situation where the protection people wanted to work separately. They wanted to move closer to the, uh, to the customer, if you will, and they cover a wide area. We'd like to know how wide an area in Central Florida that they cover, but they kept wanting to intercept the person before they ever got to the advocacy center, which is where the hospital is. Now, to me, that just makes no sense at all. You want videotapes of the interviews. You want professionals all together collaborating. You don't want somebody making a side deal out in a remote area like Sanford, Florida. Let me tell you, I've been to Sanford, Florida. It's the carny capital of the world. Do not leave your children walking at night in Sanford, Florida. You'll never see them again. They'll be on the uh, night train, on the auto train in some trunk. Do not leave your children walking around Sanford, Florida. So now I don't know if this protective service goes as far as Sanford, Florida, but we saw a lot of things in Florida that were weird, to be honest with you, in Sanford, Jason and I. So that be as it may, uh, the, the local rep, I think it's District 5 in Florida, is Bradley. And he made a comment, he sent a letter saying, hey, we had a sheriff that worked with you guys well since 1985, everything was going great. And all of a sudden, 2013, I think so, yeah. 2013, everything goes haywire. All of a sudden, it's like you hired an SEIU janitor that was getting paid for, you know, finding kids for medical experiments or something. Something's gone wrong. That's all we have from this uh, Bradley. Something's wrong. Something is wrong. Uh, and he's the one saying it, not me. So the, the second piece of this is uh, these, these protection people, this team that this uh, Cameron Ross Burgess is on, keeps intercepting. And, and it seems like he's always on call. I talked to his roommate. He's always on call, and they're always kind of like going somewhere like a strike team, like a, a rapid response team, right? And then they're spending these weekends away on all these camping trips with these kids. Like they're trying to get to know the parents, and, you know, you, you, all of a sudden we don't know what's going on. Well, 
there's two other people of interest and I'll just leave it at that. One is this doctor at the University of Florida. And the doctor, it, just think of tulips. The tulips haven't bloomed here yet in Washington. The, the cherries aren't out yet. But just drop the P off. Tuli, correct? Tuli? Javid Tuli seems to be very involved in, uh, so he's a person of interest, very involved in programs, very involved in research programs. Now again, I'm not saying he's a finder, he's not looking for people, he's not uh, sweeping kids off the street, I'm not saying that this is the medical experiments from, I can't remember what Monty Python movie was, but the uh, Catholic guy has 20 kids around him, he goes, well, medical experiments for the lot of you, <laughs> I, got, I got a better offer. No, I'm not saying that, I'm not, I'm just, I can't remember which which movie that was. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So the the, the key is, Tuli's the guy. Uh, let's not think of him as me medical experiments for the lot of you. Let's just say he's an interesting person. And then there's this person at the equivalent of the state house in Washington, which is in Tallahassee, of Jeb, Jeb Bush Bush fame, and now of course Rick Scott. This guy named Penny Packer. Think of your kid coming home from Halloween and you have to pack up all those pennies and get a hundred, you know, take it to the bank, big hassle. He apparently works very closely with this Thule. There are people of interest. We just want to... A Department of Children and Family Services. So we're just trying to identify the people that can get in the same room and, and work this out. We're not trying to, you know, generate trouble or anything. Just want to say, who are the constituents, who are the stakeholders that could sit in the same room and work this problem out?